Good morning. It is Monday, June 13th. It is my last Monday of the school year. Um, so we get about five more wake ups to go to finish off the school year. Two more real days, some finals, and then a day to make sure that everything is packed up and that we're all set for the summer. So it's a pretty exciting week here. Oh, I gotta get to school, make sure everything's all set for my final. Um, so on the five and one here, uh, kicking off the day with our first fueling. I blended up the vanilla shake with some dark roast iced coffee and a couple of handfuls of ice. So here is my first shake of the day, my first fueling of the day. I'm gonna put this in a to-go cup, run over to school, and I will see you for a second fueling. Just had my students from my first period class on B day, and it is the last time I will see them this year, I think. So that was kind of emotional and kind of cool <laughs> as like a nice milestone going on this year. Uh, for feeling two, I decided to make the apple cinnamon oatmeal. Mm. I actually made it right this time, so that's exciting. Uh, I'm going to go enjoy this and hang out with my homeroom kids for the last time this year as well. And uh, I'll see you for lunch. It is time for lunch, so I am going to have the spinach pesto mac and cheese. I just realized I'm down to like my last bar, my last two bags of crunchers. So I checked and my order shipped, so hopefully it gets here soon. I have plenty of fuelings, just the bars and the crunchers are so easy at work. Not that it's hard to make the pesto mac and cheese. Um, I did microwave the water, add the envelope two hours ago when I had a uh, second fueling. So it sort of hydrates in the liquid for the two hours and then just heat it up before it's time for lunch. Mm. And then it's very good. It's still a little soupy. If you have some fresh spinach, I do like to throw a handful of spinach in there and then you have a little extra stuff to sop up all the delicious cheese sauce. But I don't have any fresh spinach here at school, so I'm just going to enjoy it as is. All right, I will see you after school for after school snack. Whew, that is the last B day we're going to have for the rest of the year. So that is amazing and a little bit sad. Um, here is our after school snack. I had some iced decaf coffee, blended that up with the chocolate shake. So that's delicious. It's a little chilly in the building due to a little too much air conditioning, but I'm pretty sure it's gorgeous outside. So I'm looking forward to getting outside, getting some steps in. Um, so hopefully I will get all my steps in before I see you for the leaning green. I got outside, I maxed my steps. So I'm at 10,000 steps, so that's very exciting. Over the weekend, I managed to make a spaghetti squash casserole with a little bit of a Italian sausage and a little bit of red pepper. Um, so this is my delicious leaning green that I am gonna enjoy tonight. Uh, I've just about maxed my water, so at the bottom of this cup, I should be at 100 ounces. Always working on my water. Um, so overall, pretty productive Monday. I'm gonna go uh, check my email, and I'll see you back here when I figure out dessert. I'm super excited for dessert tonight. I decided to use the last of my brownies now that my next order is placed and turn them into peanut butter cups. These are amazing and super easy. They do count as one fueling and one snack. So you take the regular brownie mix and you add the one fourth cup of water to a bowl Mix it up, divide it into the two little paper cups. I never use these for anything, so I have a million of them, right? And then you just take um, your two tablespoons of PB2 that you can use as a snack, hydrate that a little bit, divide it in half, plop the peanut butter into them, 
and then throw them in the freezer for 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how frozen you like your peanut butter cup. So I'm gonna go enjoy my dessert. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, drop some comments down below, and I'll see you tomorrow.